When we got the news that Jay was injured, we knew there were a lot of things we could do to help him, but there were a lot of things that would be beyond us to do for he and Ann. All right, raise it up, we'll go. Pull, 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 pull. <laughs> And just know how much the foundation and Gary were loved by the parents of these veterans and warriors that you helped so much. In 2004, Jay was serving with the Army in Baghdad, Iraq, and a roadside bomb went off and severed both of his legs above the knee. So he's gone through a good chunk of his life as a double amputee. The house looks so pretty, Mimi. We're so excited to welcome the Fondren family into their new home today. This is actually our 70th home build through the RISE program, and we're here to make sure that they know again that we support them and are really grateful for their service. Wow. That always do a little more tagline that Gary has is something that, that we think about a lot because we're always thinking about what is that little extra thing that we can do that is gonna make this home a little bit better for that better. Oh look, it's indented so you can get underneath the sink. The Gary Sneeze Foundation team, they were like, well, what about this, what about that, what about this, what about that? Let's try this, because they knew more tricks, because they've done more houses. The wall oven has been specifically designed at a height that's comfortable for Jay to, to open the doors of the oven. And then everything's right here, and I'm not having to try to reach, reach down and put stuff in and out. Be able to remove a hot pan, set it down. Oh, look at this. Gary's vision was very much that these guys would have a place that restored independence and supported them, empowered them for a better life. One of the common themes that you'll see is simply wide spaces. Lots of room for Jay to be able to navigate in his chair. This is the first time in a long time that I've been able to access all of the house. Yeah. In addition to that, we have set up a master bathroom that's tailored to Jay's needs and his desires. <laughs> Take a shower and go to the bathroom without having to use multiple stools to get to one the, from one to place to the other. You know, we designed this one so that I could pull right up and then get right onto the... Oh, and it's warm. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Not only have we created a showering area that's comfortable for Jay to use, but we've also incorporated into that the ability for Jay to take a steam shower and relax those sore muscles. That's cool. It is cool. And I can focus on the things I need to focus on, like being the father to my kids that they need and deserve, being the husband that Ann needs and deserves. I don't have to worry about just the surviving in the house. To Jay, with much gratitude for your service to our country, God bless you and your family. Thank you, your pal Gary Sinise. Yeah. Hey, Fondren family. Gary Sinise here, Jay, Ann, all the kids, welcome. He sent me a text message earlier this morning you know, saying how much he wished he could have been here, but so grateful that we were going to finally get into the house. And he, he texted me last week saying, hey, it's just a few more days, just a few more days, you know. This is a gift to you for all you've been through in service to our country from the American people who donate to the Gary Sinise Foundation and our many, many sponsors. The Gary Sinise Foundation brings an army of partners together to help build these homes. We are so proud and honored to work with the Gary Sinise Foundation in their RISE program providing specially adapted housing to our nation's most wounded veterans. We are so grateful to you and thank you for your service. And we at Schulte look forward to Jay and Ann Fondren and their six children moving into their forever home. Jay, we all wish that we could have met a man of your caliber in person. But for now, our team at USLBM will have to settle for thanking you via video. On behalf of HEB Operation Appreciation, let me be one of the first to welcome you to your new home. Several of our team members here also have military backgrounds and the sacrifices you guys have made of your time, your energy, and your lives to protect all of us and the freedoms that you've afforded us, it's immeasurable. We'd like to welcome you home, Staff Sergeant Jay Fondren, and thank you for your service. We'd like to thank you for your service and dedication to the country. It was our privilege and pleasure to be here today. Uh, we hope you all enjoy your new home. Take care and God bless. We truly appreciate everything that you and your family have done for our country. Congratulations on your new home and hope you enjoy it for many years to come. I really love that the Gary Sinise Foundation and RISE has been so generous to give you all a home. You deserve it. I truly wish this home to be a wonderful new blessing. 
that will create more freedom and independence. For all you've done in service to our country, God bless you. I'll look forward to coming to visit at some point in the future. Enjoy your day.